NYC. The Big Apple. New York Ooh. City. Ever heard of it? Gang, the boys are going to be here. Gotham Comedy Club, November 9th on the Isle of Manhattan. Ooh. We're coming back. We're storming the beaches. Get some tickets and come see us. It's the New York Comedy Festival, our first time Ooh. in it. You don't want to miss it. The show's going to sell out. Also, the boys are going to be in Hartford, Connecticut on December 14th. And we're going to go to Albany, New York on December 15th. And then where are we going after that, big man? We're going to be in Syracuse December 16th. Get those tickets. Yeah. Welcome to another exciting edition of Are You Garbage? The show where you find out if your favorite comedians are classy individuals or absolute trash. Now, here are your hosts, Kevin Ryan and H. Foley. Hey, everybody out there, and welcome back to everybody's favorite new podcast. This is Are You Garbage? Sure is. It's a little show. We sit down with your favorite comedians, and we find out if they grow to be classy mm-hmm. or to just a big old piece of trash. You know it. I'm your host, H. Foley, coming at you on a beautiful day. We're down here at Aunt Tootie's basement. She's a little anxious. Why? Well, she knows that our very special guest that's here with this good friend of ours is Canadian. Ooh. All right. She wants she's, to see some papers or something? She's worried that we're going to become Canadian. <laughs> she thinks you can catch it? Yeah, I told her that's not how it works. <laughs> yeah. They're good people. You don't say. Yeah, so she said, let me know when he's gone. She'll come out of her. <laughs> okay, okay. She, My- comes, she comes out in a mask. <laughs> <laughs> Space suit on. Spraying lights all at him. <laughs> I don't want to get into that Canadian on me. <laughs> My co-host is coming at you from right next to me. He is the CEO of RU Garbage. He's an international businessman. He turns heads in boardrooms all across this great nation. Give it up for KJ. <laughs> Kevin James Ryan. <laughs> hey, gang. Happy to be here. Thanks for tuning in. As always, please make sure you rate, review, subscribe on iTunes. Full video available on YouTube. As you do know, those numbers are... True to roof. Hooking. Um, and then I'm contractually obligated by the Yam family and the mm-hmm. Jack Conti mm-hmm. family to mention the greatest website of all time, mm-hmm. www.patreon.com. Slash mm-hmm. you garbage. You can sign up. Get a bunch of content. Uh, different podcasts, videos, live streams, the whole nine yards. Get it. It's all on there. Get on it. We love them. Thank you. And how about a nice quick shout out to our producer extraordinaire, the Magic Man. He's our own little yam family right here. Yeah. T-Bone McMuffin, Toby McMullen. What's up, dudes? Hey, T-Bone. We got a Canuck in the house. Hockey fight time. Let's go. <laughs> Drop the gloves. Pull the sweater over his head. Get him. <laughs> feel like five for fighting. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> Gang, we could not be more excited to have our incredibly, and I mean incredibly special guest, Back with us again today. It has been a while. He was one of our original guests. Second episode, I Second think. episode. We're talking pre-pandemic. Pre-panty. He's one I of our- I going to say pre-Patreon. I was going to be like, 100% right. Yeah. <laughs> this used to be on t- the hood of a car. Remember when we were doing it there? <laughs> <laughs> talking into old fucking uh, the cigarette lighters? <laughs> Get the mic Are plugged. you garbage? Or- we're all garbage. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at this. We're in the back of a fucking we're in a, uh, grocery we're in a hatchback. store. Yeah. <laughs> Gang, he is one of our oldest friends on the New York comedy scene. One of our best pals. He is a very funny and Absolute I mean murderer. murderer. Stand-up comedian and actor. Been on The Late Show with Stephen Colbert. Been on The Tonight Show. Stand-up with John Dory. He's been on Conan. And he's got a brand new show that he's the star and creator of that's coming out. We couldn't be more excited to have him. Ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Nathan McIntosh. Yeah. yeah, guys, thanks for having me. This is Nathan. a great day. You know what I mean? <laughs> Every time somebody asks me about you guys, I say these are some of the greatest people that I know. Both of them, Foley, Kip, alone. My name's my middle name's also James, and also I just met. You're a hero, buddy. You're a good man. Oh, thank you. <laughs> this guy's got great energy. Yeah, uh, yeah. Wait time till here. it turns sour, then it's not so good. <laughs> he turns quick, and you're no, like, "What just no, happened?" No, that is not true. It's I'll his, stop picking this up. It's his first time wearing headphones. <laughs> <laughs> look, I don't want to put the. He does. He, I, yo, again. I, look, before we even you look start like this a baby thing. in a NASCAR race. Wah, wah, wah. I will say yet again. You look like a Muppet DJ. <laughs> I will say one more time. These fucking headphones are from the 80s. Mm-mm. Don't come at me with the 2012. What do you, what do you want? There's Ear no pieces? way these are from 2012. These look, these look like fucking Michael Keaton would have wore them in Batman. Like <laughs> We're broadcasting the, 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 the here. Like, uh, Wait, when was Michael Gordon Keaton? Like, what's, 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 what's the Joker doing today? He puts these on and listens to the city, <laughs> just on a big sonar <laughs> machine. You do look like you're in a sub right now, yeah. man in the radar. <laughs> you, have, you have a green light on your face. Right well, now. this is a basement, right? I mean, yeah. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. It's your white aunt. <laughs> dude, yeah, it's dude. She's in the, the kitchen. Hunt for Red October. She's in the kitchen. Dude, dude, dude. 
Foley comes by. It's just a whale. Relax. <laughs> dive, dive, dive. <laughs> Oh, Look, I, this, I want to wear the headphones. I want to say whatever you want to say. Everybody and people at home, I appreciate Fine you guys it. for having me. Yeah, I don't. Well, it is no, what it this is. is great. Let's go I'm an back. adult man. I pay tax. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Let's go <laughs> back. Would, I can't remember if you were garbage or not, but yeah. you're definitely not garbage now. You very you you like to take care of yourself. You're always very well dressed. <laughs> Hair always looks well, good. When did we do this before? 1994. <laughs> How long ago was this? No, we're saying you grew up. I think if I remember, it was oh, single no. mom. Yeah. Oh, that's what you mean. Yeah. I thought you meant from the last time I was on the podcast. This guy's really gotten his shit together in the last Jesus year. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're eating better. No, yes, yes. Did I grow up as garbage? 100%. You grew up yeah. kind of garbage, but I remember yes. your mom Your mom went above and beyond to make things better. I feel like her situation, if I remember. I remember she was trying to keep it together. That's she what was I trying to keep it yeah. together, yes. Doing the best she can. My dad was out there. He drove a Trans Am all the way to Alberta to punch the fucking <laughs> ground for oil, as you do. <laughs> When you're from out where I'm from, uh-huh. Nova go, Scotia. Go, I no- said this before. Yeah, no, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You drive out there blasting Metallica. I mean, this was the 80s. You know what I mean? It was you're, wide you're, open. Yeah, blaring Metallica, enter Sandman as you fucking speed across Canada to just punch the ground for oil. And my mom, uh, yeah, me and my brother and my mom were out there. Uh, what does that mean, punch the ground for oil? Looking for oil. Thank you. Yeah. Is that what your dad went and did? That's what everybody from where I'm from. Uh, oil. Not man. everybody, but a lot of people from the Maritimes. Go out west. The hell's a maritime? Find, the Maritimes is a, a collection of provinces that uh, we we. They're provinces. Called... This guy's from Narnia. <laughs> Dude, what are you talking? Dude. Well, I'm Dude. from Middle Earth. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm from where King Kong goes to get that sword <laughs> to fight Godzilla. <laughs> If you look hard enough in that scene, you can see my mother in the background <laughs> screaming at my dad on the phone. Come home. The redheaded one's annoying. <laughs> <laughs> they're in their 30s now. Wait, did your dad hit oil? Do you know? Hit oil? Like by himself? No, he's on that <laughs> Beverly Hillbilly. No. They, uh, he oil. wasn't shooting at the ground. That's like what I thought you meant. He went out like prospect <laughs> and got his yeah, got a pot. No, no, he was he was on probably on a rig. He was an oil worker. Okay. Yes, on the oil a rigs. Neck. Sure, on the oil rigs. People people from where I'm from, a lot of people from where I'm from go out to Alberta to work on the oil rigs. You make really? a couple bucks, you buy a few trucks, you fucking yeah. get some leather jackets. This is what I know about people. that People buy cocaine, hookers, mm-hmm. trucks. Two weeks on, two weeks off. I didn't off. know you were an oil man. <laughs> Canada don't sound too bad, I'll tell you that. Was your dad, she, did he strike oil? <laughs> like, just picture him out there with like a DeWalt drill, just like a <laughs> pickaxe. That's what I, <laughs> there will be blood. Yeah. That's what I thought you meant. Like he went, like he left to go. No, that's where the work Trying was. to find exactly. his own prospect. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. This is the 21st century. I mean, <laughs> yeah. you know what I mean? The good God. Canada's not that fucking far behind. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not the dark ages. <laughs> Uh, but uh, yeah, so yeah, so okay, uh, but yeah, yeah. But I was a single parent, right? Yeah. Growing up, yeah, yeah. I remember. Uh, what, 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 what kind of car did she have? There was something I remember. <laughs> my mom, she had a couple of them. She did. She drove my uh, like a, a Trans Am for a minute. Ooh, she had a, a lady in a Trans Am. Yeah, with the fucking fire on it. But that was when my my dad was still kind of a. Was he around? I don't she know, whatever. drove a trans with kids. I think it was his trans. That's not planning for the future. <laughs> That's crazy. There's no back seat in there, yeah. dude. What, the, the two kids in the front dude. seat. No, my brother one time was in the was in the the back ashtray? and the <laughs> he's sitting in the ashtray. My brother was in the back. Is there a son, back to a Trans Am? There's like a little, as you just said. There's like a little. Uh, these headphones are gonna look. Say whatever you want. <laughs> The, he was sitting in the back. The little, it's a little like. Oh know, yeah, the seat dip. came forward. Remember that? Like I never that little, got back there. I don't remember. I, I was in the front that. a little bit, and then we didn't have this car for long. My also, brother. kids in the front back in the nineties was wide open. No seatbelt, dude. Right, no so. seat. I remember like if you got in your buddy's car and you had to put your seatbelt on, I'd be like, "Fucking dorks! What am I doing?" <laughs> I'm gonna have to just do this. I hate it. I hate it all. I hate these headphones so much. I'm so happy that I can hear. Myself. Well, who, what, 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 what podcast do you go to where they have fucking Bluetooth? Yeah, what do you expect? I never listen. I never use the headphones in any podcast. Every oh. single podcast I go to, I have to wear these, and they go, "No, why would you?" And I go, "Thank you." Yeah. This is the only one where you guys are like, "Look, man, there's a goddamn. We're in a basement. You, you Can I ask this we don't even need question? to. We're just being strong. On this you. is the. I, I love it. Plugged in. You can't let me just come in here and do whatever I want. I appreciate it. My brother want. No, this story doesn't even matter anymore. Trans Am, and then she also had. Remember that fucking. Uh, I think it's a Dodge Celebrity. Remember that? Ooh, was it, is that what it is? No what celebrity place? ever drove one. I don't yeah, even absolutely. know what that is. <laughs> it's James Wood sponsored it for a little while. That's one hundred percent false. No, I, it was. It's like a. It looked like a, a Oldsmobile, but it, I think there was like a little bit less yeah, yeah, yeah. shine. It was a little. It was boxy too, if yeah. I remember. It, it was, was like boxier back in the the heyday of like boxy sedans. Yeah. There's a question for you that I'd be curious. You mentioned James Woods. 
Now, we know that sometimes American actors and celebrities, they'll go overseas and endorse products that they don't endorse here. Do you remember having anything like that when you were in Canada? Like, was, like, Johnny Depp, like, doing, like, orange juice commercials or anything like that up there? Oh, man, let me go back and think. I think uh, there was, uh, I think Brad Pitt did a whole run of uh, maple syrup ads. <laughs> Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah, 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 yeah. It was called uh, Aunt Jemima and Louise. <laughs> this whole... This whole Two, three hour run of these maple syrup. No. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like a Japanese energy drink. Also, I love Canada's either in the 1800s or the Far East. Yeah. It's, it couldn't be. We're so close to this place that, dude, no. Everything that we, just about everything we get is from here. There'd be some Canadian people who would do things, but you guys wouldn't right. sure. get it at all. How old were you when you came here for the first time when you visited? Oh, my God. 20. First time in wow. your 20s? Yeah, 22. Wow. 22. How old were you? 22. Was that the first time you traveled internationally? Yeah. Well, you left the, you left Nova Scotia. You left the country for the first time to come to the U.S. at 22. Where'd you go, Niagara yeah. Falls? Yeah, but on the Canadian side, I'm going fucking. No, where'd you come when you came here for in 22? New York. Oh, you did. Uh, yeah, 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 right over here. Uh, well, where, where, <laughs> right over right here. Over, right, over here. <laughs> <laughs> right over here in this basement. There was uh, no me and uh, 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 the guy. Whatever. I was in this competition. At the time, okay? And Dance? It, uh, <laughs> no, arm wrestling? What are we talking? <laughs> Over the top. Yeah. Another, the, uh, another, that was another uh, ad. Stallone did this whole thing with uh, beavers. <laughs> yeah, <it> was, <laughs> he arm wrestled a beaver, and the whole thing was like, hey, the beavers are people too, or whatever. You go wrestle a beaver, you wouldn't take us in my movie. <laughs> They, they not a bad Stallone. Wow. It actually was. I wasn't expecting. You know it what? I it really be with wasn't with it. that bad. Yeah. Thank you. From nowhere. Have you worked on this? <laughs> <laughs> no. But you're also from Philly, so I feel that everybody from Philly knows a little bit. Like you know what I mean. You're also of of you. You remember the? You went to see Rocky movies in theaters. I did. I saw Rocky movies in theaters. Yeah. So you Rocky Four. I saw in a theater. It's coming back. I know. It's an extended cut. Director's cut. Yeah. We're Something gonna go like see that. it. I've talked about this. I've met him before. I've Where? Stood in Stallone? The, I, yeah. What? I, I never told you this. I didn't know you were famous. <laughs> International business. Are you kidding man. me? Uh, there was, um, <laughs> it was, what was the one that came out, I guess, five? It was five. What was the one where there was the huge, his, like, the re the Rocky comeback? Bal Rocky Balboa? No, Balboa six. No, Rocky Balboa. Balboa, six. then what was the next one? What was? That's the last uh, one. So, yeah, it was three. Rocky Balboa. Yeah, so it was Balboa. Yeah. Well, was five Tommy yes. guns? Yeah. Yes. So it, was, it was Balboa. Um, and it was in Philly, and he did this big premiere, and I somehow got tickets to, like, my aunt or something, and we went, and it was, like, there was this VIP tent, and there was, like, a ring, and you could stand in the ring and get your picture taken with him. Uh -huh. Like, you both, like, stand like this or whatever. Wow. Dude, he's about... Damn, he goes all out. He's about 5'2", not <laughs> exaggerating. Like, he's, like, the tiny, shortest <laughs> man, but front to back, dude, chest to back. Like three feet yeah. wide, all HGH. <laughs> this dude's just sweating out hormones. I was gonna say in in 06 when he did uh, uh, Balboa. That's, yeah, it was 06, yeah. But he, I think he got charged. He got knocked in Australia or something. That's for, what it was. For, yeah, he was trying steroids. to fly back with a bag full of HGH, yeah. no oh, shirts, yeah. no t-shirts, <laughs> yeah. no pants, nothing, just yeah. bags of no drugs. No toiletry kit. Bat and sunglasses. He was jacked in yeah. that fucking movie. Yeah, oh yeah, he was fucking. Just sweaty all the time. But that, uh, uh, yeah, no, I came here at 22. It's the first time. I was just trying to think of that now. Yeah, the first time I ever came to America, period, was when I was 22. Mm. Yeah. It's a long I time. scammed you in the street. Did For you? What? Uh, they saw you coming from Nova Scotia a mile away. Is Let's that... get this hayseed. Look at that, this guy with his headphones. <laughs> <laughs> They uh, hiya fellas. <laughs> I got uh, I, man, as as many tourists in this fucking city do. I got I got dinged with comedy club tickets. Really, dominated, really? absolutely dominated. Me and a guy I was with. Okay, we ran this competition in Canada for comedy, comedy competition, okay. not dance, <clears throat> not Rocky impersonations. You won this competition. They flew to you to New York. You got to perform at Gotham, and they gave you tickets to see. Uh, Sarah Silverman at Carnegie Hall, and I think Dennis Leary at Carnegie Hall. I think it was. I think it was for New York Comedy Fest at the time. Tell you That's the truth. It's like make trash. a wish for Holy open micers. <laughs> make a wish for Canadian open mic. <laughs> Man, <laughs> Dude, we hey, you want to look like a star? Was, no, it, well, was the competition televised? No, it was. It was on the radio. But we, so we had to get up at 6 a.m. Oh, my God. We had to dude, do you it on the radio. You did a radio competition? You, yeah. So at the first Hard time Rock you, Cafe, dude. The, the oh first time you God. came to America, you came as a contest winner. 
Con- oh, I radio. lost. Oh, God. Dude, I lost. Here's the My thing. buddy got a companion. He took me with him. Yes. Oh. What? Because here's the thing. I knew. I thought I was going to hey, win. Hey, listen, let's make a pact now. If we either one of us win, we, we take each other yeah. with us. No, this is exactly what, Dude, I used to be pretty. Uh, when I was younger, I was like, I, I, I'm, I got this. I know what I'm doing. So I took the time off of work. Anticipating, Before you won? Absolutely. <laughs> anticipating that I would win. I lost. And this guy, the guy who won, he was another comedian that I knew. And he was like, hey, man, uh, my my boyfriend can't go. Mm-hmm. Do you want to come? I go, yeah. I already got the time off work. So then me and this man, he's like a, at the time, he's like a 40-something-year-old, six-foot-five giant fucking man. Yeah. Walking around the streets, just yelling at people and shit. I had to kind of like stand behind him because I was like, man, this guy's just, he's losing his mind at everything. But anyways, I got screwed in the in the in Times Square. Dude, the the confidence, hold on. The confidence to take off the time mm-hmm. because you've entered a radio contest and to you're go to New York. and you're assuming you're gonna win the trip. Yep. Is all time crazy. Man, winning a trip is well, here's the real thing. fucking yeah. trash. Had I have won and I what am I gonna I can't call in sick then. What am I gonna do? I don't know. And also I did it with other competitions. I used to win some competitions. That's all there was at the time. You weren't going back to work if you would have won that. That was it. You're coming Quitting. here, <laughs> New York City. I won five grand one what time. What was the job? What was what job? Star- uh, Starbucks. The one that you called out of. Starbucks. You were a Starbucks. Starbucks guy. Oh yeah, for a long time. You were let, okay, real quick. Let me tell this ticket story. They got coffee up in Canada. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, you make it. You make it in an old boot on an open flame, <laughs> in the fucking wild tundra. <laughs> you stare with a hockey stick. Now, what type After of- your f- your friend dies from uh, what, what malaria? Not malaria. Scurvy. What the scurvy? Pirates. There's another something. one. What's the other? Like oh, the old dysentery. Time. dysentery. Tuberculosis was big back then too. Dysentery. That was the one I was looking for. Shit, was no wonder you lost that competition. <laughs> <laughs> All right, punchline. Something. 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 Somebody give me an occupation. So what are we dude, doing? Radio I came Canada. To- Look at dude, it. Yeah. I- in ca- All of this is happening in Canada, nonetheless. <laughs> That's crazy. Radio. There's like nine people. We listening. got a couple of real hosers on the line here. Hang on. Do a comedy competition. You gotta for work you. hard for them punchlines, you know. Put down your snow Hustle shovel. Hustle hard. <laughs> the the I oh, so so I. I when I came down here. That's okay. Cr- I forgot all of this was happening in Canada. That's all cr- of this in was Nova happening Scotia. in Canada. Well, I was. This was in Toronto. I, but I, I, I am originally from Nova Scotia. I moved to tr- whatever. So when I came we down, got him here, on his heels. None of this. Even- <laughs> <laughs> He's flustered. He doesn't know what to do. <laughs> whatever. We're, yeah. let's just, let's, we're having a good time. Yeah, of course. I take back the classiness. Radio, the, the, the radio contest. But that's winner. for the occupation. I get that. We've done a, a lot of shitty bit. stuff in comedy. You got to do what you got to do. You Wait, know? You, you also Just, said you won $5,000? Yeah, at another competition, yeah. What? Comedy? Yeah. Are you guys paying attention? Does anybody, <laughs> anybody know what's going on over here? Yes, yeah, a I comedy was, competition. I was, try, I was only saying that How long did you take off work for that? You were saying that I should have quit for the other thing. When right? I won the five grand, a guy said to me, he goes, you're going to quit your job, right? I go, are you in your fucking mind? It's five. I'm not quitting my job for five grand. Yeah, I that's would've. pretty clear. After that's, tax, before taxes. Dude, that's trash. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's a level of tr- That's smart. Yeah. That Yes, that's smart. It's trash to be like, I won 5K pre-tax later, 5K. nerds. I quit a job that I didn't even have anything going on, but I said I was going out on tour with my band and yeah. just to quit the job. Did you have a band? No. Have you ever walked out of a job? Uh, yeah, I walked out of that one. Yeah, but you had a story. You ever just straight up I balls have. to the wall? Just we dipped? did too. Dude. We tried to unionize. Really? We were we were valets. Okay. And I was like, hey man, they were giving us like union ten dollars an hour or something, <laughs> but we weren't allowed to take tips. And then oh. someone hit us with tips. Fucking Kippy Hoffa over here. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, hard working people. <laughs> Fuck you know about a fish. <laughs> That's a deep cut. <laughs> Shout out to the Irishman. The fuck you know about a fish? It ain't that bad. Fuck you know about a fish. I love the Irishman. I'll fight anybody. Yes. yes. You want to run from a knife? Charge a gun. <laughs> Charge a gun, run from a knife. Um, Look at my son. <laughs> my ice cream. No, because they gave us, I got a tip, and we would take them or whatever, like if you were trying to, you would have to deny it if they saw you taking a tip. But every now and then, someone would be like, oh, here's five bucks. You go, oh, thanks. And one of us got caught. It was me and two of buddies. I thought you meant like a tip, like they tipped you off. They were coming to rough you up. No, no, no. One of us got caught Who taking a tip. Who is roughing up valets? Yeah, right? What the fucking scabs. movie are you on? The scabs! The scabs. <laughs> scabs are standing outside waiting to park yeah. cars. Yeah, we're not a guys willing to hit this man with a pipe to park a Jetta? Yeah. What are you, fucked? A bunch of guys in red jackets fighting yeah. in the middle of the street. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like the end of Anchorman? <laughs> so a guy Kippy gives you a tip. Kippy killed the guy. <laughs> Kippy killed With a trident. Yeah. I saw him. I got out of hand. That escalated. 
graduated quickly. <laughs> no, and we were like, hey, just let us, you know, I'd rather you pay me $2, like, take, give me, like, the tip wage. When and was this? When were you? I was in college, and it was my two real bozo buddies. Uh, that was, like, their career. They had not gone to college, and they were like, oh, we're going to, you know, they were working at this car dealership, and they were valets at the car dealership, and it was, like, their job at the time. And I was like, yo, just give us, like, the two fifty an hour and let us take a dollar from every fucking car. I was parking, like, 100 cars a day or whatever. I was mm-hmm. making, making a little bit of cash, you know? Yeah. And then they were like, no. And then we're like, well, give us $15 an hour. And they said no. And I'm like, well, then we're going to walk out. And then we walked out. My, I was like, well, I'm going back to school in a month anyway. <laughs> and my two buddies were like, shit, I, gotta, I don't have a job now. You started a revolution and went back to dorm C. <laughs> yeah. And my two, do my one buddy, shout out to Ryan who listens. He had to dress up. He had to dress up for- We're going to make him pay for this. Ooh, my cafeteria. <laughs> oh, the meal plan activated again? <laughs> I'll go, see you guys at fourth meal. I got to go stuff my book bag with chicken sandwiches <laughs> for my dorm. Kip, let's talk about Bespoke Post. Bespoke Post. And that box of awesome that Ooh. they got cooking over there. Mm-hmm. Absolutely fantastic. Now it's the fall. Yes. So they got all cool stuff for the fall. New category. You could do some outdoor stuff. You could do some home bar stuff. Even grooming stuff. The clothes, too. Unbelievable. Oh, that's right. They're doing clothes. Ooh, get some nice threads. Oh, man. You got to check out the Box of Awesome from Bespoke Post. Yeah. Uh, to get started, just take the box of awesome, Just take the quiz at boxofawesome.com. Your answers will help them pick the right box for you. Like we said a bunch of times, it's cool guy shit. It's shit where you're out of your buddy's house or you're at a game or something. You're tailgating. He's cooking. Someone rolls up with a cool hat. A cool deal. Where, where'd you get that? Box of Awesome, baby. That's what we're doing. Bespoke mm-hmm. Post. Uh, they sent us a bunch of stuff, you know. I, I so cool. I have like this leather buck knife, this buck knife with like a leather thing. I use it to it? open all my boxes. I feel like Crocodile Dundee or something. Flash it on the subway. Uh, they release new boxes. <laughs> now nah, that's a knife. <laughs> uh, they release new boxes every month across a ton of different categories. It's free to sign up. You skip a month at any time or cancel. Each box only costs forty five bucks and has over seventy dollars worth of gear inside. You're losing money. I don't know how that math works out, but you're losing money. Um, so you get 20% off your first monthly box when you sign up at boxofawesome.com. Enter the code GARBAGE at checkout. One more time. Write it down. Get a pen. Pull out your phone. That's boxofawesome.com. Promo code GARBAGE mm-hmm. for 20% off your first box. Ooh. Do it. Kippy, Mint Mobile. Mint Mobile? Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile, Mint Mobile. I'll say it one more time for you. Mint Mobile. You got to check it out. All right. Talk about passing savings on to you. Mm-hmm. Oh, my goodness. 15 bucks a month. Yeah. And you T- might be sitting there thinking, what's the catch? There ain't no catch. This no. ain't one of the big guys. No. One of, one of the guys looking to rip you off. No. Not All one right? of those big wireless providers, small towns, bo- boutique operations. For taking- the people, by the people. Yeah. Mint Mobile, baby. Do um, it. They cut out the retail stores, so there's no need to sell. Uh, you know, they don't have like the brick and mortar. The guy standing there trying to get you to fucking sign a 15-year contract. That ain't the case. Keep the overhead low to pass the savings on to you. No mystery fees or nothing at the end of the month. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for just 15 bucks a month. All plans come with unlimited talk, text, high-speed data delivered right on the nation's 5G wireless. I've said it a thousand times. My wife uses Mint Mobile. Mm-hmm. It's fantastic. She got it when she was coming here back and forth, and now she, she's like, there's no reason to sign up with a big company. Why would you? So if your contract's up, you're in the market, you're looking for a second number, Mint Mobile's the fucking way to go. If you're not 100% satisfied, Mint Mobile has you covered with their seven-day money-back guaranteed. Switch to Mint Mobile and get premium wireless serving starting at just 15 bucks a month. Mm-hmm. To get your new wireless plan uh, shipped to your door for free, go to mintmobile.com slash garbage. That's mintmobile.com slash garbage. Cut your wireless bill to 15 bucks a month mintmobile.com slash garbage. Do it. My buddy had to dress up like he was because he was still living at home. So he would dress up and leave for work in the morning because his oh, mom wow. was there and he couldn't tell her he quit. So he would dress up and then like go like Henry Hill. Car. Exactly yeah, like yeah, Henry yeah, Hill. Yeah, to yeah, park yeah. cars. To park cars. Yeah. Ba- all the way back to uh, another fucking uh, uh, Scorsese movie. 100%. Yeah. You Scorsese. never walked out of a job. I've walked out of four jobs. You what are they? Out of one job? My anxiety Gross. wouldn't let me do that. I've quit. Have I quit? I've been fired most. Yeah, you, he's a big fire yeah. guy. I walk out, man. Well, grocery store, uh, restaurant. Uh, uh, what, was the name, what was the name of the restaurant? 
Oh man, guys, look. Do we? Do you, <laughs> you want to keep making fun of Canada? Because yeah. here we go. This place is called Boston Pizza. Ah. Uh, they only man. have these in Canada, right? Of course. Because uh, there's nothing. There's nothing about well, Boston's Boston. Boston's not even says, known uh, for buddy, pizza. Look, we know that. They know that. The they whatever, man. Is I it don't a know. chain or one place? It's a chain. That's a full-on chain. I wonder if Canadians chain. go to Boston thinking they're going to get good pizza. They don't. Probably compared Which, to there's probably good pizza in Boston. <laughs> yeah, but it's not. They're not the known North for end. it. All right. It was like I'll, Boston lobsters. Yeah. Canada, it is. They uh, where else? A uh, 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 a Best Buy, basically, and a, a call center. Those jobs I walked out oh, of. They were all shitty jobs. That's their yeah. trash guy. Call centers. I've done. Walked out of that. You Tough. walked out of a call center. Yeah. How great is that feeling? It's pretty good. The day you leave that, were you in like a little cubicle? Sure was. Dude, the day you push back, the feds were closing in. We had to get out of there. Oh, that's hilarious. This place was gonna be open for a while, but I bailed. I had to. I had to fucking. The, I, and the guy at the end. Did you have to do an exiting interview? No, I've never had to do one of those. I think of one of my jobs, like one of my like law firm jobs I had. I thought you said you just walked out. Walk and exit the thing. Here's the thing. Out. As I was there the whole day, I kept I was just fucking around. I was just hanging up on people. I was taking calls and telling people I was at home with my wife. You knew you were leaving. Oh my god. What was, was the call center I was for? Out. Nextel. Remember Nextel, the uh, little beep? When you yeah. chirp, shorty beep, beep, chirp back. Beep, beep, boop. So yeah. you were customer service for Nextel. Yes. And nobody called in for a good time. Everybody called in. The last nobody thing I wanted did, to call to tell you guys we're doing a great job. Nobody. Yeah. Not one person was like, if I could suck you guys, I would. Everybody yeah. was like, oh, fuck it. One woman called up one time. She goes, if you don't fix my fucking bill, I'm going to drive into traffic. And I just, <laughs> <laughs> I just put it on hold. It was like, holy fuck. That's where she started. Well, if you're yeah. driving in traffic, we don't got to fix your bill. <laughs> so I hung up a whole bunch of times. The last guy I talked to, I just erased his bill. I was like, I'm out of here. I gave this guy 700 bucks. Bailed. As you I'm had leaving. the power to do that? Yes. Just to oh. fucking delete a bill? Oh, the power I had was this. Dude, I could check anybody's uh, Nextel phones and plans. One day, a guy, this, this is how long ago it was. One guy, a guy, a guy comes over to me, he goes, do you want to see how many phones Dog the Bounty Hunter has? What? I go, yeah. So I walk around this thing, and he goes, look, all of these signed to Dog. It's <laughs> just like nine fucking Nextel phones. Got him. When you're chasing when you got to get off the ice. <laughs> it's, awesome. it's tough to get off that ice. You need a lot of chirps. <laughs> Chirp shorty, chirp back. Oh, I shit. But I, when I walked out, the guy goes, hey, uh, he goes, people walk out of here all the time. So he goes, would you do an exit and interview? And I was like, of course I will. But then as I, when I sat yeah, I'll down, tell you how bad you suck. <laughs> that's exactly what it was. The guy goes, he goes, why are you leaving? I go, dude, this place sucks. And I watched this guy write down, this place sucks. And then he's like, what would make you come back he wrote here? wrote down, this place sucks. Yes. And then he goes, what would make you come back here? I go, dude, if you guys bulldoze this building <laughs> and build a McDonald's. He goes, come on. <laughs> <laughs> he goes, the guy literally. I would maybe stop by if I had to go to the bathroom. You're a young kid at this time. 19, I don't give a fuck. The guy... is, is this post uh, contest winner? Oh, pre, pre. Oh. My dad had just fucking rustled up some the uh, <laughs> some Texas some crew. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> well, I just got off a horse. My the guy puts the pen down. He goes, "Come on, man." I go, "Write it down." And I watch this guy go bulldoze this building, <laughs> build a McDonald's. And I walked out. That's pretty good. Walking out of a job is. One day, right? Yeah, I feel like they're going to follow me. I'm like, I got to make it like two or three blocks. And I go, ooh, okay, I'm out. <laughs> My anxiety would get to me too much. You know what? This guy's making a lot of sense. Fuck you guys. Exactly. <laughs> That's what I was going to say to Foley. Do the bit. It would be fantastic. <laughs> but ultimately. But knock shit over too. Camera falls. <laughs> the fucking. Mi <laughs> the speakers go all fucked. We shoot the rest of it Blair Witch style. <laughs> <laughs> I'm crying into the camera. I don't know. I can't remember. He, was, he was here a minute ago. I don't know, man. <laughs> We find little sticks in his the shape of him. <laughs> <laughs> little headphone sticks. <laughs> I'm in the corner. <laughs> Wait, the whole story of Blair That's Witch. That's great. That's great. The 700. So you knew you were leaving. So you were like, fuck it. Did you clear anybody else's? Did you hook no, anybody No, just that up? guy. Just that guy. Because he, That's he awesome. called. He was so fucking. Like, everybody would call up freaking out. phone bill. And this was, at, this was at the time. Remember when phone every phone bill was like 700 bucks? If you called anybody at any time, you were fucked. This guy called me and he was like almost in tears and he was like, dude, I can't pay this bill. I don't know what to do. I, I go, dude, you're good. I go, it's gone. I, I took care of it. He freaked the fuck out. He was like, man, you got to give me your number. This is amazing. Thank you. I go, honestly, it's my last day. You're lucky as fuck. I'm out. Yeah. And then if there's great. a chance that you're out there that Nate. Mack oh, I would love. Where is this? I would love to know what happened to this man. You it's saved seven hundred dollars. He he could have he could be a governor for fuck's sake. If you had yeah. an next he could phone, have his own Providence. What year was it? <laughs> that would have been like two thousand five, four. 
Three. 2004, Listen, 2005. Why? About Because you don't forget that. Oh, no. Whether you became a billionaire, you're not going to forget the time that somebody took 700 off the next Listen, album. if yeah, this guy yeah. needed 700 taken off his bill back then, he's probably not around right now. Let's be honest. Wow. I could have just been a young kid starting I, out. I say, I say opposite. I say this guy's now a fucking scholar. I say that $700. No way. That $700... Turn his Swi- life around? Switched it all. It's like it's like um It's probably six months rent up there. <laughs> Seven hundred bucks. He was calling from America. Oh the call uh, center was in Canada. Oh, out really? you were you were a s outsourced scab. Get him out of here. Wow. You know what we had to say, because I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, and they would say, just say your if anybody really asks, because people were pissed that the call center was in Canada. Sure. Pissed. Why? Because they people taking, yeah, our jobs. taking our jobs. They're fucking taking our oh, jobs. So they would say that on the phone. Ah, you're up there in Canada taking no, our they- jobs. Robin is blind with your seven hundred dollar phone bill. They would say if somebody asks you where you are, say the Northeast, and then Ooh. they said if they push it farther, say Halifax because there's a Halifax in Virginia. Ah, uh, but also I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia. They'd be like, you're not lying, but you wow. know. But nobody ever asked me. I like how Canadians are such good people. That they, that they yeah, <laughs> technically you're not lying. <laughs> if they push me, you harder, tell them everything they want to know. Meanwhile, the call center I worked at, we had to vaguely act like a cop. <laughs> and I'm not even lying. For what? Uh, donations for the police commissioners something. Yeah. It was you were real. a call center. You were taking donations. He was doing pump and dump scams. I was, I've talked about this a couple of times. He but sucks. doing when like you call when you know like the the fraternal order of police the wolf of main street working at the event. <laughs> 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 the wolf of main street. I'll take it. I got two sandwiches here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got I supersized it. Uh yeah, we, it was the fraternal order of police type thing and you call it's like fundraisers for cops. Cops aren't allowed to call mm. and say hey, we're having a fundraiser because you'll feel obligated or threatened. To give them the money. Okay. So you called. Which is the- exactly what he's doing. Yeah, exactly. we would to- say, No, yeah. we wouldn't say we were a cop. We'd say, hey, I'm calling here from like the commissioner's off, whatever we were but representing. But intimidation and guilt were your two main powers. <laughs> no, we would say, don't you want to keep the streets safe? Yeah. <laughs> no, Do you kidding. have the sirens on a low hum in the back? <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait, wait a second. We're getting a call right now. Uh, but we had to change our name to like. Scanner in the back? We would change our name to something more Irish. prisoners rattling? What do you mean? Like, I would be like, instead of being like, hey, this is Kevin Ryan, you know, calling for the whatever, I'd be like, hey, this is, uh, you know, this is uh, O'Malley from, and I'm calling <laughs> O'Malley, the- O'Malley? Yeah, O'Malley. <laughs> Sergeant O'Malley, O'Malley, <laughs> reporting for duty, say. <laughs> I don't want a gun. Just give me a billy club. <laughs> <laughs> I'm old school. <laughs> I'll walk the beat. Give me a billy club and a whistle. I'll clean these streets in a minute. <laughs> Get my ass kicked. Oh, Mally, oh, beef stew every day. That's all I need. <laughs> <laughs> Never had sex with my wife once. It wasn't missionary position. I shake my kids' hands. Such an O'Malley O'Malley. Shake my kid. Good night. Good night. <laughs> Too bad. <laughs> I got the flattest feet on the north side of Philadelphia. That don't stop me from walking my beat. Yeah, I wear orthopedic shoes. Sliding. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just shuffling. <laughs> Like one of those wind-up toys. <laughs> oh, Officer yeah. O'Malley, O'Malley here. O'Malley, O'Malley. Reporting for duty. <laughs> I get sunburned in the dark. <laughs> <laughs> My hair's so red you can't see it. <laughs> Never touched a drop of gin. <laughs> those are tough looks. You ever see that when someone has a gin blossom on their nose? I didn't know oh. what that was. My step uncle somebody had one where the first time i saw one i was like oh my god you're talking like their nose already the nose is all blown up and red i feel like they're out of fashion now right not hurt (laughs) yeah they'll come back chanel (laughs) get your gin blossom kendall jenner's got one no yeah i don't don't feel like people get them any yeah yeah Yeah. like maybe they do i just don't see it somebody Uh, somewhere is for sure yeah yeah they're probably less but when you see that it looks like it hurts all the pores and stuff you could like scoop it uh it's not good yeah Oh, man, that's funny. That's funny. O'Malley, O'Malley. Oh, God. All right, let's... Can I tell you guys real quick? No, yeah, Can go, I tell you what happened with these tickets? What tickets? I got sc- screwed in Times Square. Oh, oh, oh yeah, yeah, I apologize. Hold also, on, hold on. So for the listener, if you're not aware, there's a, there's schemers, scammers, all over Times Square trying to sell you tickets and they to comedy shows, and they lie about the lineup. Some are legit and some aren't. Mo- yes, but most of them will be like, hey, you know, Jerry Seinfeld, yes, Will yes. Farrell, Jerry's Sarah, not coming. No, Eddie Murphy's there. I've he- heard Jim Carrey. Somebody told somebody Jim Carrey one time. Yeah. They were like, Jim People- Carrey's going to be there. Jim Carrey hasn't done stand-up since like 1983. I know, yeah. Joe Nathan's performing tonight. 
But they don't, it's trash. They don't work, which I respect the scam. I respect the good scam. They don't work for the company. It's like a third party thing. And it's just, you know, typically not the most savory characters you're buying the tickets for. Mm-mm. This is the only reason I brought it up because of this podcast. Are you garbage? Of These course. are garbage. This sure. is garbage. So I'm walking down the street and somebody yells. They go, hey, man, do you want to see a show? And I go, I already have tickets to something. Listen, I'm a contest winner. I'm adjacent <laughs> to a contest winner. I won five grand, you I'm piece the, of shit. I'm the, I'm the companion to the real winner. <laughs> Give me four yeah, in case see, I meet some friends. You see that guy 10 feet ahead of me? That guy won. I'm with him. <laughs> this guy goes, he goes, uh, yeah, man, uh, who, we got a good show at the club tonight. I go, Hold who's on, there? did you tell him you were a comic as well? I don't think so. I'm a comic as well. But here's, oh, why, here's how, where I fucked up, because I'm an, I'm an idiot. I mean, I'm a goddamn 22-year-old little bumpkin. Nova Scotia. Sure. So he goes, who are some of your favorite comedians? I don't even want to talk to this guy. Really? Now that I think about it, but it's because you're in New York. They get you. You like stand up. They're doing, you know what I mean? Of course. So I go, um. He's industry. He's in- <laughs> this guy wearing sweatpants. This guy's from Dirtbag Inc. <laughs> he's got one Puma, one Adidas on. He's industry. <laughs> <laughs> this guy can fucking, he's got, he half the, sp- the Spider-Man pants, top is Superman. <laughs> yeah, 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 and he's yeah. got the sign for stand up tickets. Like as soon as I leave, he's going to go back and take pictures Just with children. Charge for, yeah, charge for pictures. But he goes, uh, he's like, who do you like? I go, I don't know, Chris Rock. And he goes, Chris Rock's going to be there. I go, <laughs> I go. <laughs> oh, man, they saw you coming from I tell fucking you, New 100. York City where everything 100%. comes true. I go, I go, don't lie to me, man. I go, that's the only guy I'd really I like, like to Tom see Cruise in the city. I like Tom Cruise, too. No shit, he's going to be there. <laughs> Salma Hayek's giving out blowjobs at the top of the hill. I see you wearing a Superman T-shirt. You like Superman? Believe it or not. He's closing. He's he doing, turns around. He's he doing turns around, takes his glasses off, comes back. He's right in your face. <laughs> Starts playing a fucking little mini disc player with the theme. Ba 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 ba. So I go, come on, man. He goes, yep. I go, fuck. So I bought tickets, and I said to my friend who had the tickets. To How see much? The other you people, remember? Forty bucks, like Damn. something insane too. Like I got, I got robbed. I got this robbed. Like fifteen years ago too. So 40. a long time ago. Yo, no, yeah. You could buy a fucking, you could buy a mule in Canada for forty dollars. <laughs> buy two mules. Ride yourself to California. <laughs> yeah. He, he, so I told my friend, we had tickets to see, uh, I forget who it was that night, but I was like, I'm going to go to this man. I'm sorry. He goes, fuck it. I'll scalp these tickets. Who cares? So I went and sat That's at That's pretty club. good. I like that move. He did scalp, scalp the tickets, make a couple of bucks because they were freebies anyway. Exactly. So, so now he's all, he's all in the he's black. He's up. I'm down. Oh, you scalped a Sarah Wait, so Silverman you, you paid 40 tickets. That yeah. guy then turns around, sells the ticket that he bought, that he won yes. for cash. Yes. Oh, you're the bozo. In I know. Club. I told you. Yeah. So I went and sat at a club for hours by myself. Do you know what club it was? Uh, yes. Okay. He didn't go with you? No. Was it off Schmroadway? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so. <laughs> was it by Schmroadway? <laughs> Is it the one I'm thinking of? Broadway Comedy Club. Oh, okay. It wasn't that one. Oh, it wasn't? No, uh, Uptown. More Uptown. But the uh, the other one that's off of Broadway, Uptown. Wow. It's up in the 70s. It's up there. Oh, st- okay. Stand okay. up New York. But this is years yeah, ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyways, I sit in they the club. They don't book me anyway. I it said- was stand up New York. <laughs> <laughs> I think you were the guy that sold me the ticket. <laughs> they- so I sit in the club, and not only is Chris Rock not there, there is no Chris Rock. Oh, wait, he didn't show? No way. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. I left he this thought place. thought he was going to be sitting at the bar eating a sandwich. <laughs> that Marshall's that's up there right now, that used to be a pizza place. Fantastic pizza so place, by the way. So check this out. Yes. After I, I go to the show. I used to do bringers there, and they still don't book me. After I go to the show, I, I sit there for hours. Also, I, I buy $40 tickets. Great and then I pizza play, like, place. Drinks. I bought a hot chocolate for 18 bucks. Like, just fucking stupid. I walk out to go to the pizza place. <laughs> And you I'm sta- got a hot chocolate? You're so Canadian and adorable. Man, I don't really I'll drink that much. I'll take a hot cocoa, of- please. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have marshmallows? Can I have a hot cocoa and a candy cane, please? <laughs> There's like an elf sitting in the front row. They're like, I guess. Do you want marshmallows? I brought my own today, sir. Thank you. Do <laughs> you have a knife and a cutting board? <laughs> Chop it up for the fucking... Buddy, I don't really drink that much anymore. I, whatever. So... Um, so I, I, I leave I'll that place, stew, I go please. to the pizza place, and I, I, I ask the guy you for pizza. you have any halibut? <laughs> <laughs> What's your fresh catch today? <laughs> I'm a cod man myself. <laughs> oh, Nate. I got a big fucking tub of whale blubber to sit there. <laughs> um, you got a seal I can club? <laughs> the... <laughs> Now where? <laughs> so I go now where do I park my snowshoes? <laughs> I see people order hot chocolate places, and I'm like, "What the fuck, dude? I don't really drink that much anymore. I think we talked about it the last time I was on the podcast. I drank hard from 13 to 18. Yeah. I had an ulcer. I've seen rum Nate I, in the I, past couple of years. One rum Nate, 
I don't drink that much. I got Sometimes a hot chocolate. You think? You think? I, I know. I'm an idiot. I paid eighteen dollars. <laughs> I could have got ninety fucking hot chocolates for sure. the rest of time for eighteen dollars. Sure. Gonna get but, your dick sucked somewhere <laughs> for, for eighteen dollars. <laughs> Let's hope t- not. <laughs> and if you can, don't do it. Yeah. Save the eighteen. Blow yourself. Yeah. Look, break don't your listen own to back, this man, kids. Dick in your mouth. Eighteen dollars. Yeah. That woman. That no, with the tickets. You got forty for the tickets. Oh, I hear you. You're talking about the whole thing. Yeah. So, look, so wait, go to the pizza place. Like he just I ordered wrote the those pizza. Down I know, like, mu- and circled. Uh, them. That's not even a number. That middle one. <laughs> so I go to the pizza place. That's just a boob. I order the pizza. The guy turns around, and who do I see on the wall? Chris Rock with this pizza guy. <laughs> I go, oh, there he is. And I ate pizza. I walked because I was scared of the train. I walked from 78th to 42nd in the rain oh. eating pizza. I got robbed. So anyways, Man. the only reason I bring those tickets up, are you garbage? Some of these people are garbage. Watch yourself. Very true. Very. T- that's a fucking talk about getting fleeced in New York. That's flim Listen, flam. folks, when you're coming, next time you're visiting New York, Grifted. don't do the Nathan McIntosh. Nope. Did you guys fly in, or did you did you take a bus? <laughs> took a sled. <laughs> Dog sled. No, I t- we flew. We flew. Yeah, yeah. Kip, let's talk about the good people over there at My Fitness Pal. Love My Fitness. And I don't mean My Fitness Pal. Yeah. I mean it's My Fitness Pal. It's an app. Sure. Get your life turned around. Yeah. Now, as you know, I've been struggling with my weight. Uh huh. All right. I've recently kicked it in the high gear. Turning over a new leaf. Turning over a new leaf. And let me tell you something: the people at My Fitness Pal want to help you, and they can. Yeah. Uh, it's not a rigid diet plan. Instead, no. it learns what you know. It takes your data, what you eat, all this stuff, and 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 you know, gives you the best plan for you. Like we said, your version of healthy is different from my version of healthy. Sure. Everybody's on a different plan, a different program. Um, and that's okay. You know what I mean? It's not everybody needs to lose 500 pounds or whatever. You know, it's like if you're just whatever you're trying to do, they tailor it for you. Seems like a shot at me, but no, it's okay. Not, it's not a one, it's not a one, one shop fits all. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> um, uh, with my fitness pal, you're not going it alone. You'll have access to guided daily workout and meal plans written by dietitian, exercise scientists. That's nice. Scientists and exercise. They Think got scientists that. on the case. Look at that. Like, um, like Drago. Yeah, plus you can get support from other members with the shared goals. Like, say, you know, if somebody's like, hey, I'm trying to lose 15 pounds, you're like, hey, me too. You guys can fucking work together. community. A little work together. If you're like, hey, I'm, I'm, you know, a bigger guy trying to lose 200 pounds, you got other, you got some of them too. You know what they I mean? They really are a pal. Yeah, so uh, my fitness pal does way more than just count calories. Get support you need to meet your health goals. Unlock the amazing things my fitness pal can do, like we did. Start your premium membership today. Go to garbage.myfitnesspal.com. Use promo code garbage to get a one month premium membership for free. That's garbage.myfitnesspal, M Y F I T N E S S P A L dot com. Code garbage for free one month premium membership today. Garbage.myfitnesspal.com. Do it. Butcher box, butcher box, butcher box. Uncle Hanky's got a butcher box. Let me tell you something. Yeah. I don't need copy for this one. Nope. Because these guys are home run city. Yeah. Let me tell you something. When you get meat these days, you're not really sure where you're getting it from. Okay. You go to the grocery store. Who knows? The antibiotics, this, that, the other thing. Butcher box sends you top quality meat. Yeah. Unbelievable. Are you talking free range? I'm talking free range, grass fed, grass finished, which is big. Organic? Organic. Wild caught seafood? Wild caught seafood. We're and more? Sockeye salmon. Ooh, Delicious. Love it. As you know, they sent us, I mean, I got a fridge. I'm ready to start going into business for myself. They sent you so much. Stuff. I know. It's pretty it's crazy. Unbelievable. Uh, every month, ButcherBox will ship you a curated selection of high quality meats right to your home. Like we said, no antibiotics, no hormones. Contains each box contains eight to fourteen pounds of meat, depending on your box type. That's enough for twenty four individual meals. It's crazy. I got ground beef coming out my asshole. Oh, it's fantastic. Uh, it's packed fresh, fri- sh- shipped frozen for your convenience. Save time, money. It's all easy peasy. They take all the thought out of it. The meat all has that deep red color. Well, you know, it's, it's you know re- it's quality. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's good. It's stuff. way better than anything you're gonna get at a grocery 100%. store. Hundred uh, percent. You can customize your own box or go with one of theirs. Either way, you get it exactly. What you want, free shipping for the continental U.S. of A. Mm -hmm. Because we're American, baby. Right now, ButcherBox is offering new members a 10 to 16-pound turkey free in their first box. What? These people are... What are you, nuts? These people are bonkers. I got to re-sign up. What the... (laughs) Dude, this keeps going because there's going to be a cow outside my house. Man, they're handing out turkeys like Frank Lucas. Look at this. (laughs) Butcherbox.com slash AYG to sign up. Butcherbox.com slash AYG to receive a free turkey in your first box. Now back to the show. Is that guy still doing comedy? (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he is. Yeah. Okay. Right. Fight, right. I, I believe so. Yeah. All right. I didn't want to make any declarative statements, but I believe so, yes. Okay. Um, That's great. 
All right, Ugh. fantastic catching up. My God. Uh, as you know, guys, when uh, you join the Patreon, we will read your garbage question on air. It's just the best way to do it. We get so many submissions via email, DMs, everything, but we get the, the Patreons, the homies, as some mm. would say, get uh, get first crack at it. Yes, sir. Um, this one's from Mike. Uh, let's see. This one's from Roman Joe. Have you? This is. I've seen this. Have you ever had? Have you ever used anything other than a regulation mailbox as a mailbox? I've seen a two liter cut on a pole. What? Yeah. Wow. What is that allowed? No. I mean, no. It's got to be sanctioned by what the. What kind of soda was it? <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it matters. It I'm was not, yellow, so it was either it was green, so it was ginger ale or Sprite. We're seven up. Let's hope it was ginger ale. That's so far. I'm not putting an IRS letter in a fucking Mountain Dew bottle. <laughs> yeah, that's crazy. That's could not certified cl- mail. Could be club soda, and what's the big deal? <laughs> that's a, pretty, a lot of return to sender in that, dude. <laughs> yeah, you deceased. gotta be in a real, real small place to be doing that, right? Like you can't. You gotta be. That is, it was more country esque. Yes, yeah, 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 that's yeah, like yeah. a dirt road where the it's like. You know, road one is your, sh- is sure, your road. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, yeah. No, I've never, never in my life. Well, you were I... apartments too, so you probably had yes, like the, exactly. the, the, the. We jammed the bottle in the door to keep it open when you <laughs> went to run for something, you know? When somebody wouldn't give you keys, you fucking yeah, jam fucking the door, it leave open. it, and run real quick. Love propping a door open. <laughs> oh, God. That's always real trashy too, because when you're smoking, especially like out back of a club or something, yeah. and you're like, uh, if someone else comes out, you're like, Dad, watch the rock, prop it up, prop it up. <laughs> Don't move the rug. Yeah, the, the rug of the thing. God forbid I walk halfway around the building. You know what I mean? I always thought that that's insane to me because I always thought it was even trashy when people would have the mailbox and then have the mailbox from the whatever newspaper they read. That was big the around little us. little side It'd be like yellow or whatever. You know what I'm talking yeah. about? Oh, it's for this newspaper Just the specific. newspaper. So like when yeah. you sign up for a little, subscription for yeah. the newspaper, you'd get a little mailbox that went on the side. Like under it or whatever, yeah. yeah. There's also two. Throw dog shit in there. <laughs> oh, yeah. It was always. I hated people that had the. <laughs> Just to teach them. They would throw a little piece of dog shit. guy poop walking around there. with a bag Take of dog that, shit. Yeah. He thinks he's teaching people yeah, something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. I just walk around with dog shit on me. Exactly. Let me teach these Let learned, teach you guys these well read, learned people a hey, lesson. Hey, Foley, stop living under the bridge with your bag of dog shit. <laughs> yeah. I got to stop these readers. Anytime there was also like. I remember there's somebody in my neighborhood had. It was a cowl. Like a cow. Their mailbox was like decorated like. A cowl? Uh, yeah, like the farm animal, a cow. Oh, you what? were saying cowl. cowl. Like I know. Batman's I think I messed cowl. it up. Wait, what are you talking about? What do you mean? Are you I saying cow? Cow. 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 You cow. just said cow. Okay, I apologize. You keep saying cowl, like Batman. Cow. Like cow. cowl. Like cowl. he has a cowl. Hold on, hold on. <laughs> okay. Stop the show. <laughs> Kevin. Well, now I'm thinking about it too much. What kind of, what animal does milk come from? What does what come from? A milk <laughs> comes from a cow. Mi- milk. <laughs> Cow. You guys both. From what? Cow. You're saying cow, dude. You're saying cow. <clears throat> like vowel. Can How I buy you, a cow? Then, then you say it. Cow. Yo, call 911. I can't let anything happen to this guy. <laughs> Wait, you say it. Cow. Did cow. somebody spill water on you? <laughs> <laughs> I ate after midnight. People, take this guy to the apple store. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, somebody do a hard reset. <laughs> Hippie, hippies on the fritz. <laughs> Squeeze a volume button in I his don't... butthole, will you? <laughs> <laughs> I'm thinking about it too much now. <laughs> the double button, the hard, the hard reset. Oh, that's great. <laughs> Your eyes put a just paper shut down clip, for a second. Put a paper clip in my belly button. What NFL team plays in Dallas? Cowboys. The who? Cow. I, I, I'm thinking about Holy it too much. Holy fuck! This is crazy. Uh, yeah, I Wait, mean, you say it? Cow. 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 Yeah, cow. Okay. You're really hitting it though. Cow, <laughs> cow, like really coming in hard. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's now I'm I'm analyzing it too much. I'm not cow. gonna get a fresh run it's just at cow, it. Cow, man. <sighs> but anyway, man. somebody made their mailbox a cow slash cowl. I thought it was a Batman mailbox. That's what or I. That's like exactly that. what's what cow I. Cow from the Batman. His cow, eyes, the thing. It's a like cowl his, is a thing you put over your head. Yeah. Oh, I didn't. He know wears that. a cowl. Yeah, cow. Did you know that? Yeah, big nerd. Oh wow. Yeah, of course. Batman's I don't know cowl. why they should call him the Cow Crusader. Really, I mean, he's got a cape too. Wait. All right, let me. I'll get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm walking out of this too. Fuck. You want me to do an exit interview? Nate, Cow. why'd you leave the podcast? Uh, Can you tell me that? <laughs> they made well, me wear headphones. headphones. Yeah. Yeah. What would make you come back? <laughs> no headphones. Bulldoze uh, it, turn it into. But anyway, somebody turned their mailbox into a cow. Yeah, which gotcha. I always thought was insane to yeah. decor have a decorative mailbox. People want like to beat something it up. other yeah. than a mailbox. Yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah I, look, I grew up in apartments. It was just a fucking silver door mm-hmm. for life. Yeah. Did you ever have this? Did you have the the slot? No. Did you ever have the uh, mailbox outside of the building? 
where like some because sometimes now they're in like they'll be like in the parking lot and they'll be like a big. Thing. I've had one of those. Yeah, yeah. They no. I, I never did. No, that's a that from where I'm from. That's a pretty small town deal as well. Okay. Be like in a, like a rural area, they have just a fucking stack of mailboxes over there. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. And yeah, then everybody that's... goes there to get the mail. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. That's yeah. real rural shit. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Rural. Rural. Yeah. Rural. <laughs> um, Kippy's on the fritz again. <laughs> this one's funny. This is from Brandon. Uh, can you ride a bike with no hands? <laughs> <laughs> Dude. Is that a personal question? Like, can you personally? It's so or can gar- you? It's so cool. It's so garbage. And only a certain kind of kid could do that shit when you were a kid. I could. You couldn't ride a bike with no hands as a kid. Fuck no. I could you kill no, nine not people? At all, dude. Really? Dude, people I never had to. Oh, dude, yeah. I had no hands texting all through Chicago. Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's like no hands, no feet. <laughs> I didn't have a seat. <laughs> just a head. <laughs> how just are a head st- on a bike? How are you steering? What with the hips, baby? Yeah, you lean. It's all really. In the hips. Even when you make a turn, you don't use your fucking hands. Oh yeah. How? I lived on a bicycle for like nine years in Chicago. Okay. I worked on a bike. He doesn't have a okay. license. I was going to say, I lived. I was like, drive. I don't need more of this story. But okay. <laughs> no, um, I never could do that. I, I fell off. No, I, I, no. I fell really? off of bikes. Yeah, I crashed bikes. Wow. I can bike, but I mean, I, I also, <clears throat> do you ever have one of those bikes that folded in half? Oh, absolutely <laughs> not. Because if you do, <laughs> we're not friends anymore, Nathan. <laughs> Are you kidding me? A, a friend of mine had, a friend of mine had one. Wait, okay? are you a kid? Yeah, I'm a kid. I was a kid. I oh I was a kid. My, my friend of mine had one of those. I went that's to make a turn. That's for accountants who want to the, keep their heart rate up. The up. cocksucking yeah. thing opened, that's, that's closed for on my t- leg, and I fucking ate it. I just ate ate it. What, it folded up on you? It folded on my leg. Like what? a Murphy bed? <laughs> yes. <laughs> He's in the bike. <laughs> Dude, yes. that's nuts. I that it, yeah, it was brutal. That's for I, businessmen I, trying not to pay the fucking tunnel or the yeah, bridge toll. Man. That's oh my God. I'll be home tonight, honey. Yeah. That's the guy's just biking through. That poor kid. Why, how did he have that bike? His family got him that bike. I don't know. He got him one of those fucking folding bikes. But either way, man. long story short, I never, ever biked without my hands. Not one goddamn time. Never. I do it now like when we'll go down the shore and ride bikes, and I feel it's trashy because I feel like I'm showing off when I ride with no hands. I'm like, look at this. Like I hope somebody catches a good look at me. Can I tell you something? I'm always hoping those guys will fucking wreck. Sure, of course. Them. Serves you right. Dickhead. Rightfully so. Yeah. Yeah, but when I was a kid, it would be an older kid, tight body, 10 speed. Tight body. Zit, yeah, like some kid <laughs> that was like Jesus jacked Christ. when he was like 15. Were you killing people when you were a <laughs> Tight body. Just zipping that. He was a guy that didn't wear a shirt, that smoked. Well, I keep my shirt on just for the record <laughs> when I do it. I'm sure I got it. was always up. somebody really cool that did that when I was a kid. Yeah. Um, I never even Not everybody it. could do that. No. no. I've really, I found it. Yeah, it's crazy. You're, you were an athletic boy now. You could probably do it now. Your center of gravity is fucking top notch. Really? Yeah. Get me a bike. <laughs> to the bikes. <laughs> That's what we were yelling at Moon Tower. <laughs> to the bikes. Because we were renting those motorized bikes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those things are sweet. Oh, They're good. That's good. Good time. The fold up bike. Mm-hmm. The toughest of all looks. <laughs> Man, that's crazy. Walk into the office, your fucking suit pants tucked into your sock <laughs> like a fucking goober. Yeah, you're in a business suit with a school bag on. A bad look. I remember there was a. I saw a news story. There's a guy that lives in Jersey that kayaks to the city to save money. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yeah. So I'm hoping that guy drowns. <laughs> <laughs> I hope an oil tanker just fucking takes yeah. that dickhead out. Holy! You're shit. canoeing across the Hudson, really? <laughs> Come on, man! One of those ta- one of those big tankers. Sure, that's he's just beating out there. I'm sure he's beating them all with a stick. <laughs> that guy. Well, with actually, an, with an oar. actually, yeah, with an oar. <laughs> Fuck, that's the joke. <laughs> Yeah, you're in the lobby of a you're in the lobby of the Bank of America building with an oar. You're trying, you're trying to you're trying to wedge the canoe in the elevator to go up to your. Oh, Are we still on for happy hour later? That, that's real bozo. You, you can shit. also do that like Back to the Future uh, move where he hangs onto the ferry. And just oh, he's yeah, just sketching. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Ooh. Power of Love's playing. I was going to say that. Uh, there you go. All right, this one's from Liam. I've never done this, but is it garbage to ask a stripper for change? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. 180 times out of 180 times. <laughs> yes. You yes. cannot ask a stripper for change. Strip clubs already are international waters. Whatever money leaves your, your fucking pockets or oh, is not yeah, your money anymore. Done. Sure, 100%. yes. Even if, it's, even if you pull it out to count it, gone. That's, that's, that's up for the grab. Yes. That's up for grabs. Gone. Yeah. Yeah, you cannot ask a stripper for change. I would be way too intimidated. Oh you can't, my! You just I'm can't. always scared. They're gonna get the bouncer, throw me out, some anything. It'd be one thing, I guess, if it was like, uh, 
she was came if you got a lap dance and you let's just say let's just say I could maybe see that then to be like hey do you have a ten but whatever give it to them no. but especially if they're dancing on if they're on the stage and you throw a five you can't be like throw me back two ones <laughs> you, can't you can't do, do it that. in a lap dance either dude I'm not first I'm all, saying it'd be all, more understandable first of all you know the woman does not have. Like most of the time, a stripper goes back there with these. She doesn't have the money on. Where's she keeping it? She's got this. She's they got, got the, this much. They got the crown royal bag, on. typically. Where are you yeah. gonna? Okay, at least I, the places I I frequent. I was gonna say I've never seen a stripper holding money. Oh no, they typically have a bag. They typically have a crown royal bag. Canada don't do this, but also we don't throw money really on the on. They the don't take their overalls off. Either. <laughs> <laughs> Come out in full fur, head to toe. <laughs> hey, you got That's mud funny. on me. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell, lady? <laughs> Clean your boots before you come into the champagne room. Full, full fisherman's fucking gear. <laughs> got a Sal Western in those big it's boots up to her waist. It's not the champagne room. It's the milk jug room. <laughs> Get in here in the jug no, room. Come in the, the bag of milk room. <laughs> Canada's premier strip club, the car heartthrobs. <laughs> That's hilarious. The riverbed. <laughs> <laughs> Give it up for tonight's dancer, Gladys. <laughs> no. These women are gorgeous and they're naked. <laughs> yeah, Canadian strip clubs are like top shelf, right? We don't, we're not throwing money on the stage is all I'm saying. So when you go into the back with a, a woman for a lap dance, they don't have, they don't have fucking they don't sure, have sure, money sure, on them. Sure, sure, sure. So anyways, if you go, do you have, uh, even if they had money on them, if you say, do you have change? A, 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 a bouncer look. should absolutely come in, grab you by your fuck it, and throw you right out a goddamn window. <laughs> You're I got, flipping a loony at her? Oh. <laughs> I got do throw, do that in Alberta. The they, flip a loony yeah, at them? People are monsters, yeah. Oh, I got thrown out of a strip club one time because we were sitting there, and like a couple strippers like walked. You said it was all you could eat. <laughs> 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 Brings a tray of shrimp to his table. <laughs> this guy had a whole jar of maraschino cherries. <laughs> Get him out of here. <laughs> we don't do that down here at the riverbed. <laughs> no, we were sitting there and like a couple like were like kind of walking towards us. And I just and they like looked at me and I looked over and I just went like I went like that. Like you hey. waved to a stripper. Like Dotson. <laughs> Dotson. <laughs> we got Dotson over here. <laughs> Jesus Christ. You're a goober. <laughs> I did. I waved like that. <laughs> and she got pissed because she thought I went like, hey, Get away from me. Oh, wow. So then the bouncer comes over and he's like, is there a problem? Uh, the, you know, the girl. And then she was like, get this fucking loser out of here. Dude fucking picked me up, threw me out. I was just fucking. How tripping. big was he? I was tripping my face off. That's why. He's I was a all goofed man. up on Molly. A massive. Dude. Yeah, yeah, those yeah, strip, strip club, club bouncers, bouncers are, fucking, yeah. are another breed of people. Yeah. Like mind, another yeah. size of human. It literally is international and they take waters. No, they're not up for. There's no That's, negotiation. Yes, yes. If you're like. Hey, no, it was this. No. You're, everybody's gone. Yeah, some other bouncers you can might maybe talk to. Strip club bouncers are not those people. They'll throw you right through the fucking wall. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're done so. They so like don't ask you, for change. They don't like no. when you bring drugs in there either. So I've heard. <laughs> <laughs> don't ask for change. No. Yeah, no, God, you can't do it. You can't on. do it. Um, That's crazy. You're paying for the experience. I'm I'm pretty <laughs> I'm pretty good with that. <laughs> I'll have to throw out experience, please. <laughs> of the I'm a huge dirt ball experience. <laughs> no, things like that. I never worry about like spending too much money because it's like it is what it is. You know what I mean? Sure. You can't nickel and dime in those situations. No, of course. I mean, uh, yeah. look, man, a woman has her goddamn pussy in your face. You can't ask. A change. I, I hey, I agree. I, I don't even like asking like a waiter for change. I'm just like, hey, if it's an extra seven yeah. bucks, you're getting that. Like, if whatever. It, yeah, and if her tits are that. on your head, yeah, I don't want you to also it. don't ask for change. Of course, of course, of course. Thank you for your service. I, I think you might as well go moving. farther. Like, what if I get a prostitute? Do I ask for no? Yeah, no, no, no. That's a cat. Yeah, that's uh, whatever you got on you. You're 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 getting for sure. Yeah, and no checks. Everything's either. all a cart. Yeah. Shit. Can I write you a check? Take traveler's checks. Um, Do you have Dogecoin? <laughs> what's, yeah. what's your crypto wallet you're using? <laughs> Can I give you this NFT? Yeah. Uh, all right, this one's funny. This is from Chef Tef. Uh, did you drink diet soda as a child? Because <laughs> if you did, no. your parents weren't great. Yeah, if you you were on, you were taking some form of, of ADA, or ADHD yeah. medication. Yeah, yeah. If you were drinking Diet Coke, well, you can't have sugar. Yeah. So no, I a three liter of Diet Cola. You weren't a Cola work. fam growing up, right? We were, no, but no diet. No, no, yeah. my or, or, God. no sugar. No, none of that. Yeah. I would fuck it. Maybe. And I mean, maybe. If I was out playing with the boys and I came in 
And I had to fucking go to the garage, and there was no soda or Snapple or juice or whatever. And I had to drink a fucking Diet Coke. I would do it to quench my thirst. But that broad's going to hear about it when she gets home from work. I can tell you that <laughs> right fucking now. Yeah, That's no, going to be a problem. That mom, the second she walks through the door. Oh, now, Crystal Light, on the other hand. She walks straight in. She's like, you believe these fucking guys asked me for change while yeah. I'm stripping on top of them? You, got a, you got a bigger problem, lady. Diet fucking Coke in the fridge. Yeah, what the fuck is well, that? Well, the night's not to get any better there. I also love in this scenario, she's working the day shift. <laughs> Somebody's got to. Yeah, she I'm wouldn't sure. be. My mom be working Friday, Saturday nights. <laughs> Prime time. And she has. <laughs> she's got the goods. Love you, Patty. Uh, Patty Foley? Craig, yeah. Patty Foley. Hilarious. Crystal Light. Crystal Light diet all day. Fine. Boom, boom, boom. Diet iced tea, short. Diet soda? No, oh, come on. I love it now. What are we doing? Big fan. Hooked on this. Oh, yeah, of course. Now, forget about it. Yeah, it's working for you, too. <laughs> <laughs> Club soda, diet soda's good. As yeah. a kid, get mm. the... F- Except, there's a time where I would dabble in diet root beer. That ain't too bad. What was that no. time? What was going on here? My dad, well, my dad was like, well, my dad was like making a push to like lose weight or, you know, something. He couldn't have caffeine or something like that anymore. He was drinking a lot of diet root beer. I, 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 I would drink it with him. Okay. We'd have a diet root beer together. <laughs> like so two, it's a real two, fond two, memory you yeah. have here. Yeah. Two coal miners saddling <laughs> up at the bar. Two diet root beers, please. You he asked me. Yeah, I know, but the way you paint it, I'd sit there and drink it with them. Like, you just stare at each other <laughs> yeah. and drink diet root beer together. Shake each other's hands, walk away. <laughs> Mom at work again? Yeah, it's Friday. <laughs> See you back here tomorrow night. <laughs> Prime time, huh? Prime time patty, they call it. <laughs> 10 to 4 a.m. <laughs> 10? She ain't getting there until after midnight. Yeah. What do she you doesn't mean? do the champagne room either, all right? Yeah, no. Oh, that's fucking great. Uh, this was a big one for me, which was always thoroughly embarrassing. Um, have you ever put plastic shopping bag over your socks and your shoes to keep your feet dry in the winter? What? Yeah. That was my... Pe- yeah. We would do Where? it with Ziploc sometimes as a kid. I've also put grocery bags over just shoes, period. Really? When it's raining. Yeah, I had these suede shoes, and I put bags over the whole deal. Walk, walk recently? Around. No. Okay. Not recently. Where were you going? I was in... Quebec City, walking from somewhere to somewhere. I don't remember where. So you took them off when you got into the place. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I was. He's not standing at the bar with plastic (laughs) bags on his shoes. I think it was from a strip club. Tell you the truth, (laughs) probably was. Back back to the hotel, and uh, I thought you meant the bags were from a strip club. No, so must been a bar. I don't remember, but I do remember putting on. Yeah. I get that. I'll give you that. Yeah, that's it. But that's all. Will I do that now? No. I would no. just look ahead and be like, I can't wear these today. Okay, yeah. yeah, 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 that makes sense, of course. But as a kid, especially when you're like going playing in the snow, yeah. it was plastic bags with like either tied or like a rubber band on it or something, so your socks wouldn't get wet. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. a regular thing. Yeah. No, we had snow boots. So did we, but I guess if like whatever, it was, you know, a They whole... didn't do the job all yeah. the time. They yeah. got yeah. fucking, especially after a couple hours. Do you see the there... laces, man. Everything comes through that shit. Yeah. You'd stay out and there. He's from Canada. I know you stay out there until you got wet, and then you go inside. Yeah, but We'd that's what I'm out. saying. The shoes, the the bags, buy another hour. Too. Yeah, Chicago stayed out. You guys stayed out. Yeah, because yeah. it's just it is what it is. It's fucking You're crazy dealing snow. With it. Yeah. yeah, we'd stay out, man. You're just soaked. You I can't remember do that. when my mom showed me that. She's like, put a plastic bag. My mind fucking blew. I was yeah. like, Jesus Christ, you've been holding out on me this whole fucking time. What else are you yeah, telling? Yeah, what me? else do you know? <laughs> Show me the tricks, please. <laughs> Show me how to garbage, man. All right, let's do a couple more, and then we'll wrap her up here. This one's I never even thought about. This from Jordan. Uh, ever go to a car dealership with no intent of buying anything? <laughs> no. I guess you're just looking for the free coffee and donuts, maybe? Or just, you got a lot of time on your hands. My parents went. They went to just peruse. To, be- to peruse. Yeah. There might have been a purchase coming down the pike five, six months later. Kicking but, some tires. Well, they're That's in what the, they call they're it. In the, they're in the market, though. This man is saying, <laughs> yes, have you no. never even been in the market and you show up? I remember being in a lot of car dealerships, and we never got a car that year. Oh, geez. Well, you're in the market, though. People wait years to buy things. Maybe. This Maybe. guy's saying no market. You just pull up to a Lexus dealership and walk in yeah. and go, what's going on in here? What are you guys doing? <laughs> and I would say no. I personally yeah. have never done this. No, no, no. That's crazy. With grocery bags on my feet or without. I would never. <laughs> I No. But I guess you can. What, you say they give you coffee? That yeah, sounds yeah, like you a go pretty... get coffee, donuts. Hey, I'm looking. I'm not so. You just, I guess. I don't know, man. It's not something I would do, but I get people do it for sure. Let me ask you this. Did you ever drive around with your family and look at other houses? No. Never? Apartments my whole life. 
But you did just no, just to drive or not. Oh, like just to look at how, not yes. to buy a house. You're yes. talking about just drive through a neighborhood, look at it. Yes. I guess sometimes for like what what Christmas, Christmas lights Christmas. and Halloween sometimes because people do oh, at their yeah, fucking yeah, houses yeah, yeah. pretty crazy. Yeah, that makes sense. So that's we well, used to just do that a lot for no reason. Your case like, in the joint. July. <laughs> 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 Looks like they're going to be on vacation next week. I bet you they got a lot back. of they got a lot of diet cokes in there. <laughs> the fat bandits. <laughs> <laughs> they only took the snacks. <laughs> they left all they the le- jewelry. They left all the diet coke. <laughs> <laughs> only took the good stuff. All the crystal lights gone. The fat bandits. Oh, that's great. Uh, all right, this one I've we've I've talked about a good amount, and I know you you've done it. Um, this is from Michael. Haven't had a question read yet. Ever throw a shirt straight in the dryer for five minutes to make it good enough to wear again? Fuck yeah! So the shirt's dirty. It's called the fluff. The fluff up, we would say. No. Fluff it up. Throw a little bit. The trick is you take like a wet sock or a wet rag, throw that in there, and the moisture like steams it. Kind what's of. the what's what what? If the shirt's dirty. And you're jammed up, and you want to wear This is where his shirt. class comes in because yeah. he's a sharp guy. Yeah, you're very. You're well not going to get any of it. You're not, not going to connect. So listen, when you don't have a shirt to wear, or you want to wear a specific shirt to a thing, and it's dirty, say. you put it in the dryer with a dirty wet no, with sock. A, no, with like a clean sock. <laughs> you get a, a wet, clean sock. Yeah, wet. a clean, a wet in piece. a plastic bag, <laughs> and ask for change. Diet Coke, <laughs> uh, and you throw it in there and turn it on, and it'll the heat and the water like creates like a steam effect and gives it some more life. So you yeah, can wear like it steamer again. Freshens, uh, again gives, uh, th- freshens it up a little bit. This would be another one of those apartment deals. I'm not spending a uh, dollar fifty to put one fucking shirt. That's true. If you have your if you got your own washer and dryer in your house, you can do whatever the fuck you want. Yeah. You can put anything in there. Uh, so you've never had your own washer and dryer? Probably now not in, in my New York. in my own unit. No. Wow. Holy Fuck. Yeah, no. Holy hell. No. I bet you laundry day. Did you have to do your la- laundry when you were a kid? No. Your mom did it. When I was like a kid kid? Yeah. yeah. What wow. age did you start? Because I was like 13, my mom. About 13. Yeah, she threw Man, it on. Man, talk about and no I put mistakes. A fucking, put a jean jacket in the goddamn uh, uh, washer. Mm-hmm. Uh, with the dryer. Well, I did both. But I mean, first of all, it, it ruined everything. It ruined all the other sure. clothes. Everything was blue. blue. And then a in the dryer. New, yeah, 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 yeah. And in the dryer, all the buttons and shit. I thought I was going to blow the goddamn place up. Everybody's taking cover. Yeah. Holy So shit. no, I get, look, so I don't know anything about this world is all I'm saying. One sure. shirt, one shirt in the dryer. For a dollar fifty. You don't do that yeah. in an apartment. Yeah, You're not true. doing that in an apartment. What do you do now? Do you drop it off and pick it up or do you do it yourself? I never drop it off and pick it up. I like doing laundry. You do your laundry. I do, do my laundry. Do you get anything dry cleaned? Sometimes, like a suit, shirts. Do you yeah. iron anything? I got a steamer. You do? Yeah. That shirt's fresh? Well, well I guess. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It looks really sharp. Good. It looks ironed. That's it what it looks sharp. Say. Yeah. Okay. Well, hey, thanks, guys. You're a sharp dresser. Which reminds me, before we let you out of here, mm-hmm. we have a couple of questions that have kind of been brewing lately since you've been here that we'd like to feel you out a little bit. Mm-hmm. Please. Number on one. the podcast? On yeah, the yeah, podcast. Great. Yeah, please. Do you brush your teeth in the shower? No. Never, right? Milk Never, with, not one time. We, we, I don't know if milk with we dinner. We definitely asked him milk with dinner, yeah. Milk was... with dinner uh, probably happened at some point in time. Okay, yeah, but yeah. not like, okay. Do, do, Pete, did you ever, can I just ask, did you ever brush your teeth in the shower? That seems like an 80s movie. Like, I just started doing it. Like fucking, uh, you know, doing uh, it my whole Michael life. Keaton has to sure. fix it's something. It's like a montage or yeah, whatever. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. A lot of people do it. You um, pee in the shower? I have. Yeah. I have. I have. <laughs> I'll admit it right here, but folks. Do, but do I, do I as like a, no, God, Jesus Christ. I do every day. Here's the hot you button. Don't. Here's the hot you button do. issue. Your poor wife. I know. You don't. Yeah, I do. Every day. I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> sometimes <laughs> sometimes I'll just do it in the shower. Nobody, like, nobody you just swing knows. The, you just swing, you're not even showering. You <laughs> yeah, just swing it open, just go in there. Yeah, that's I, about. I do that. I'm in jeans. And then just, and then just water it down. That's you're disgusting. saving that's water. Disgusting. That's disgusting. Yeah, that's Why disgusting. Why is that disgusting? Because you're pissing into an open tub that you're not even bathing yes, in. Yes, the like, one thing no is soap, like... There's no anything. Yes. I give it a squirt with the hose. That doesn't that's matter. That's not soap, that's dude. Not enough. That's, that's, that's just squirt enough. some soap. You're not getting... No, you don't. No, you I just added that part. Yeah, you added that part when yeah. we pushed you. You don't put any yeah. soap I nowhere. I buy a new tub every time. <laughs> <laughs> bath fitters. 1-800-BATH-FITTERS. They come in and throw it on top. Bath fitters! His tub is this fucking high. They, they don't even take the old one out. They it just keeps getting like, smaller and smaller. Just a sink. Now it's just a toilet. Like cups. No, I, I don't. Uh, I don't brush my teeth in the shower. Okay. Listen, here's a hot button issue that's tearing this country apart right <laughs> now. You're getting dressed. Mm-hmm. What's the order? You're a naked man out of the shower. Boxers. Okay. Shirt. Ugh. 
pants. Ah. Uh. Socks. Up top. Uh, hit me. That's probably how I'm doing it. I knew you were socks a gentleman. Socks first. Uh, before. It, well, no. I'm, I, it so should when be I go under, shower, underwear, sock shirt. Underwear, socks. But here's the thing. When I go shower, I just take underwear and a shirt with me. I put those on in there, and then I come out and do everything else. What? Yeah. I, th- I, I, think, I think that's why I do it, too, because I used to do that, too. I don't do it anymore. I but live I- with my lady. I can walk in the fucking house with my goddamn... You know what I mean? I don't got to worry about... I don't got to bring all my shit in there. No, I'm sorry. The fact that you bring anything in there. Oh, I'm not coming out straight. No, I don't like I don't like just walking. I don't like wearing my... I don't wear headphones correctly. You think yeah. I'm coming out of the bathroom this guy's with, a little cuckoo. with a towel wrapped around me? What am I fucking... Wait, but Leonardo DiCaprio? Isn't, no. every, isn't everything all steamy in the bathroom? You're putting on... like I take cold showers. Mm-hmm. This guy mm-hmm. keeps all the time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. For the last few months. Yeah, yeah. Since the last time I was here. The last time I was here, I felt I was a little too garbage. So I was like, how can I change some things? Yeah, this guy's not. Hot you water. Take cold showers? Not like freezing cold shower. Not like the guy in the fucking kayak to work. Yeah, from Jersey not winning off in it. <laughs> but, but yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. I take cold showers. So there is no steam. That's one of the perks of taking a colder shower. There's yeah. no goddamn steam. Mm-hmm. But aren't you, you still kind of wet your skin when you put those underwear? I dry off. Fully. Yeah, I'm a little wet when I still uh, put stuff This guy rolls on. out of the yeah. shower. He There's doesn't even grab a water. towel. You, you <laughs> need, you, listen, I don't care how good you are with the towel. You need about five minutes to let the air really dry your skin. I think that's so a, you need about nine guys with squeegees. Yeah. <laughs> that's a you thing, I feel. Yeah, well, that's, I understand My what you're saying. My personal life is not your business. <laughs> <laughs> uh, grabbing the royal us. <laughs> <laughs> he doesn't know what that means. Yeah. I don't know what that means. Yeah. I think it means everybody. Yeah. And I've been using it. Sure. And lately, to look smart, I've been telling people my favorite actor is uh, Laurie Metcalf. Okay, pretty sharp. It's good. Yeah, I yeah. know that. You know what's funny? I, I'll, 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 I'll go with you here. I know that name. I couldn't picture that person. Right. Yeah. Couldn't picture it. What's but if name? we were to party, I feel bad about that. If now. we she were was to from party, Roseanne. of course she's yeah. from. Roseanne. Holy shit! Yes, the sister. The sister really, yeah. She's in Scream too. Yeah. 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 Great. Yep. Mm-hmm. Great. But Fantastic. if we were at a party, you'd be like, oh yeah, wait a minute. Oh uh-huh, yeah, yeah. When it's everybody, so yeah, somebody you kind of heard of, you're like, oh, they Roseanne know what they're talking about. It's really Denzel. But yeah, I go I go boxers shirt. That's that's I then I come that. out of the bathroom, figure the rest of it out. Yeah, I understand well, that. Question: mm-hmm. When does the do the deodorant get applied? After I put on the shirt. Yeah, you always go after shirt. Otherwise, yeah. it gets on it. Yeah, you always yeah. go after. Shirt. You have to. Yeah, no. you make that mistake one Never. time. I do it naked. I thought you were gonna say I don't. What do, do it you at do, T Bone? After shirt. Yeah. Yeah. You go, Otherwise, why gets... would you go under and stretch your shirt out? You stretch what your shirt out. What the fuck is and... going on with these guys? Dude, you do it because if you put yeah. your you guys shirt all on, Canadian. If you put your shirt on, it gets <laughs> on your fucking shirt. I don't yeah. use antiperspirant like a weirdo. You use the white stuff. No, but it's still like it still, it still gets on. Residue you. gets on there. What are you for talking sure? about, man? Yeah. Plus, once you put the shirt on, it gets a little of the deodorant on the shirt. Yeah. Which I like makes it a little more fragrant on a shirt. Yeah. A little, a little bit of a barrier. Hmm. Huh? Smell me. No, moisturizer. Do it. What do you do? Do you go? Are you just straight? You start at socks. You go up. Don't I'll you? tell you my whole you go process. Socks, boxers, fedora, <laughs> pants. That's to get in the shower. I got my shower shoes on. I get out of the shower. Diet Coke. I get, I, <laughs> I get out of the shower. I dry off. I open the door. I let all the steam out. I go out. I let the cold you air. You take a me. hot shower, don't you? I feel. I look oh. at you baked. You could, you could cook salmon in your shower. Oh, my God. It's just all in tinfoil. <laughs> yeah. the, the only thing you're missing is the old bag. Garlic bread's ready. <laughs> Ooh, I love that garlic bread. At the grocery store. But yours is floor. hot as fuck. Like I'm hot, hot shower. I'm a hot shower gotcha. guy. Yeah, yeah. I get out. I get outside. I either stand in front of the fan. All right. Fans going in your house 24 hours a day, regardless of what season it is? A little bit. Okay. Yeah, we got yeah, that yeah. going on. I'll stand in front of the fan, let everything, or I'll flap the towel. Coldest day of the year, fans blowing Fuck in this in, man's yeah. house. Yeah. Then I go back in. I use a hair dryer to go get Go back the- in. <laughs> I got to go back in. Just when I think I'm like out. Like Nom. Yeah. yeah. I got, I'm going back it's in. It's my second tour in the bathroom today. <laughs> I go back in. <laughs> Things got a little messy the first one. I got some unfinished business I have to take care Fortunate of. Fortunate sun's blaring over the fucking... <laughs> <laughs> I see a red door and I want it by that. Helicopter noises. <laughs> I go back in. I use my in. hair dryer to dry my hair and my nether regions. I like everything nice and dry. Mm-hmm. All right. Then I apply my Gold Bond spray cream, which <laughs> I'm talking about. Go, <laughs> new Gold Bond spray, spray cream. Spray cream sounds like something you'd insulate a house with. 
Do they still make that? Like swells yeah. up. Do they still make that, it's or all... you have stuff left over from like '94? No, it's new. It's fucking spray. Wow. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I use my spray on asbestos. <laughs> <laughs> really seal it you in also there. Then I use a, 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 a ball, uh, just a hair dryer in your bald business. Hundred percent. Wow. Is that not cooking you? Is that like, that's <laughs> it's hot? Cooking it's, it's hot a air. Sizzly. I Flapping like it around. Though. Is it doing this? I like flag in the wind. Never gonna be able to have kids. That's too hot. Down you there. think? Hey, you're nuking them. You're every literally day. <laughs> microwaving your bag every day. Yeah, yeah dude, twice. That's not good. I get it all fresh. Put my fan stuff before on. too. Fan on the balls, yeah. and then the fucking pure hot flames. You're nuts. I have to do this. This is the maintenance I got to do. Fucking deodorant, and then I go out and I'll put uh, I'll dirty put, shirt on. I'll put I'll put my socks on because I usually don't you're go naked. on these. I'm naked. Okay. I'm naked in the house. Okay. All the time I'm naked. That in poor that. sofa. Oh. That poor, <laughs> poor, poor sofa. Man. This okay, is... so socks. Sorry. You start. So you're absolutely naked, dried off now. You start with socks. Start with socks and then pants. Mm-hmm. Okay. But if I had underwear. Boxers are already. You don't do boxers? I usually don't do underwear. Are you kidding me? But if I do, it's boxers and I. Yeah, I'll go boxers and underwear. Why don't you do underwear? I don't know. I just don't like it. Is this not garbage? Is this not uh, one of the listen, most? Listen, there's a lot. Have of, you met me? There's a lot of things we, we've had to just accept when it comes but to him and his hygiene. We're labeling that well, my as hygiene's garbage. My good. All I'm saying is we're labeling no underwear unless you're at fucking Burning Man. Sure, it's garbage. Garbage. For sure. <laughs> right? For sure. Yeah, but that's... Like every day of your life, no underwear. If yes. You're not a ranch hand. Listen. You're, like, you're just <laughs> No, he's got ranch on his hand. <laughs> right now, I'm wearing cargo pants. Good. Great. It's fantastic. Do you have underwear on now? <laughs> no, right right now I don't. I can smell you're it. You're doing now. a show tonight. We're doing a big show. We're getting a man reelected, and you're uh, showing up fucking swinging in the wind? With a thin veil. Yeah, it's wow. how I roll. Now, if I'm wearing shorts, I'll put underwear on. Thank God. Yes. Oh. Or, or sweatpants, because sometimes they can be a little too revealing, especially those thin ones. So how many pants? You just don't do boxers or anything? Nothing. No. Interesting. Okay, so you got your pants on. Mm-hmm. That's a fit thing, though. If the, if you had I can, I I know I, yeah, you like the way if you feels. had them that fit you would wear them. They, no, because I do have a pair that fits. Sometimes you have, they oh, that's what up. I'm saying. You have a pair that fits. It's a fat thing. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's yes. a fit thing. You just said okay. you had a pair of underwear that fit. No, no, no. I have pairs that fit. Now I just you've don't changed like it them. Again. Are there no underwear for big for bigger men? There are. It's, his, just, his I, clothing, it's just not dude, comfortable. His clothing thing is bananas. He's been wearing this shirt every day for I'm not even joking three months. And he keeps making excuses. As to... You know, it took me seven minutes to leave my house. I'm not even fucking around because I, the shirt I wanted to wear, this is so stupid of me. I go, I wore this the last time I was on this show. Sure. So I put it back. This guy's been wearing this on this for weeks. Months. I guess. Whatever, I, I, <laughs> <laughs> Whatever, dude. dude but they I don't make underwear it. for big people. They do. He just doesn't they buy do. it. I don't like the way it feels against my body. That's tight, what it is. tight. That's what it is. It's no, tight. it's not. I'm telling you, it's not that. Were you I a ha- naked kid? Were you one of those kids? You kicked the diaper off. You ran around all the time. Oh, because yeah. when you were not this fat, you wore underwear. Yeah, yeah. So it's. I was second. telling him for a while. I slept. I slept. Uh, I slept Winnie the Pooh style. I would sleep Oof. with just a t-shirt and nothing this on my bottom. Exact t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Dick wrapped up in it. <laughs> I couldn't sleep naked at all. No. Feel way too vulnerable. Yeah, Jesus no. Christ. Especially with my lady. Yeah. I feel like she's peeking at me. I gotta be chubbed you up. Get, you ever, I, I what are you sleeping? Jeans and a winter jacket. <laughs> <laughs> when you take off your clothes, do you say sorry? <laughs> I'm sorry. I got a toque, winter boots. <laughs> a get toque. In the bed. That's what someone asked. Hold on, this is another What's question. A toque? a toque is a is a beanie. It's well, a winter Canadians, hat. Well, yeah, we, winter. We either call it toque or winter hat. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And I only dropped that reference solely because we're making the Canada joke. Sure, we yeah, called yeah, them yeah. stocking hats. Get a stocking, get your stocking hat on. That yeah, sounds uh, like you're about to knock exactly. over. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, exactly. You're about to crack a safe. <laughs> exactly. One hundred. My mom was a real good second floor man. Yeah. Right, we gotta wrap it up. All right. Listen, gang. We love you, Nate Mac. We love you to death. Uh, anything you got coming up? You want to focus on any there shows? Know? Twitter, Instagram. Uh, Twitter and Instagram at Nathan McIntosh. Uh, podcast. Positive anger. I got some albums on iTunes, and also I'll be doing shows at uh, Dr. Grin's. They're Check nice. it out. In Grand Rapids in, in December, and I'm also doing a New Year's Eve show in St. Paul Ooh. on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day. Uh, yeah. You can check my website for these as well, NathanMacTosh.com. I forgot about Positive Anger. I apologize. It's oh, a fantastic uh, podcast. You got to listen to it. And I'm telling you right now, we say this a lot on this show. This man is one of the funniest guys Murders. you could possibly see live. If you have a chance to see him, Go see Nathan McIntosh. We love you. Kippy, you got anything for him? I Kevin Ryan Cobbin on all social media. Uh, get the tickets for get the tickets. Uh, New York, like we said. <laughs> Come see us in the city. And then upstate New York and Connecticut will be get those tickets to the Funny Bones. Yes, sir. We love you guys, and we'll see you next week. Peace. Peace.